Welcome back everybody, Todd here. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Today we're up here at the Northland and we're gonna continue on with our post frame uh, machine shed build. And what we did is we stopped at the Amish on at the Amish sawmill on the way up here and picked up a whole bunch of rough sawn lumber to go on the sides of it. Let me show you the lumber. Here you go, there's 48 one by eights by eight foot plus and then there are six one by eight by twelves on there that whole load of lumber from the amish and what i'm saying it's one by eight it's really eight inches wide and it's one and an eighth thick and that whole load of lumber right there cost 170 dollars so that's what will go on the walls of that. So stay tuned because it's coming. Okay, we're out here day two. It's been raining all doggone day. It's like 3.15, 3.20 in the afternoon. It's been raining, raining, raining. So we got wet overnight, but we're going to go ahead and start marking these. And as wet as they are, we're going to get them attached so that they don't cup on us or whatever mildew and then it'll just dry when it dries out so that's where we're at for now okay greg's helping me out we're measuring him up we're making cuts we cut a template board for across the back length so there's our template board we're laying them out and we're scribing them and cutting them off then what we did down here is we came in and we made this outside corner and that one's easy enough because it can go long it'll be up underneath the soffit won't matter then we made that outside corner right there and now we're just going with our cutoffs we're holding it about a half inch up off of the bottom of the grade board so that we're not you know touching the dirt and uh we should be good to go so now we're just going to pound out this back wall that's the game plan and again we're racing the rain you can see we're making progress what i'm doing is i'm going like three boards i'm holding those tight together because this is wet wood and it's going to shrink and that'll give us our gaps. So I'm going to do three boards, check level or check plumb. And if I have to, like over here somewhere, yeah, I had to cheat it over right there. You can see like a sixteenth of an inch brought us back into plumb. Went three more courses, checked plumb, keep going. So if you do that, all you're going to do is every once in a while, cheat it over a sixteenth of an inch or thereabouts one way or another, and then keep going. And it's all uniform. And it's all going to shrink down anyhow because it's green wood. So that'll give you your gaps in there, which will let your building breathe. So yeah, we're just going to keep pounding them out. Here's where we ended the day. It's after eight o'clock. We peeled off of this and went over and finished re-shingling the barn there. So that's now done. We did that over the last two days, shingled over the old ones. And now we're focusing on this. We'll do that tomorrow. Uh, hopefully the rain will stay away from us. So the back wall is pretty much done. We've got that much lumber yet to go both sides. And I don't think I'll put the fascia boards up on this trip. I'll worry about that another day, but we have them. So that's how we ended the day. It's starting to look like a machine shed. Okay, here we are the next morning. We're gonna start in on more of the siding we got some boards laid out here but what i'm going to do is build that opening down a little bit across the top and then we're going to start at this corner and work our way back same thing over here we'll come up here on this front corner and work our way back so right now we're going to pull those boards off that are just temporary bracing we're going to move those up to establish our uh overhead door height and we'll be back at it in a minute. We've built down the openings for the doors and we're starting on the siding on the side of the building up here. 
you got the soffit that's going to come through there so we're not bothering cutting too much we'll just run it up into the soffit but some of those you can see where you're underneath the bracing that had to be cut on an angle so there's the building that's how far we got that's how much material we had to work with so obviously we got this side we wrapped the corner came around the front that way it's kind of braced off you know it keeps it from racking in the front took all the temporary supports off the front started around the corner so we got about 15 boards or so to go yet take you around back here's the back of the building Obviously you can see how much fill I've got to bring in to level the site out. There's the but uh, definitely a good work session. There's the fascia boards. You've got six 12 plus foot one by eights. Those will go up there on the fascia. Once we get the metal on there, we can do the fascia and the soffit. So, that's a wrap.